Hi, Sue McCall here, and this is my dream team from the players I've played domestically with. It'll come as no surprise that eight of the lads are from the successful Rangers side I played with in the 90s, and starting off in goal is none other than Neville Southall. I'm only kidding. Um, I couldn't not leave Andy Gorham out of the side, um, you know, both for country and club. He was an outstanding keeper, good friend of mine, um, although I never felt I'd play with a better goalie than Neville Southall, who was outstanding. Um, and Andy just about tipped the balance there. So Andy will be in goal. Um, I'm going to play a system 4 4 2. It's one that probably as a player and manager I had my most success with. And it's one I believe, even in this modern day of the three midfielders and one striker, that can still be successful, played the right way. At right back um, is a young lad I played with at Sheffield United, Phil Jagielka, who's gone on to play for England and Everton, playing centre half now mainly. But he came into the team at uh, Sheffield as an 18 year old right back, and you know, he's got a wonderful goal against Leeds to knock him out of the cup. Uh, a great athlete, um, good reader of the game. Very knowledgeable, quick, strong. He can play many positions, but I think he's the best right back that you know I've ever played with. Over on the left side, uh, left back, not his normal position, but again, just for the sake of my health, I asked to get him in the team. Um, a great leader, and that'll be John Brown. Again, for Rangers, probably played more of his um, you know, football as a centre half. Early career, played left back, and again for his leadership qualities, his desire. Um, and his football ability, um, John will be in at left back. Two centre halves again, uh, both captain material. First one, Richard Goff. Um, again, I, th I think as a leader, inspirational. You know, Goffy was a, the one that led from the front, from the side. Um, you know, tremendous in both penalty boxes. You know, scored some crucial goals for us, but also defensively, um, and just a leader of men really. And you know, got on with his job, knew his role, and, and brought the best out of everyone else. Alongside Richard, there'll be Dave Watson. Again, when I was at Everton, played in a good side, but for me, uh, Dave was a leader, captain. Um, didn't, you know, go on and probably play for England as many times as he should have done. Always an unsung hero, but always at the end of the season, being the supporters, you know, player of the season, just because of his attitude and his desire. And I think in the back four there, um, with Andy behind them, you know, they're certainly, you know, defensive, defensively very, very strong but also in the opponent's box, all capable of scoring goals from set plays. Um, on the right-hand side of midfield, again, somebody who had to find a, a place for in the side just because his outstanding ability and talent um, was Brian Laudrup. You know, he, yeah, he played on the left, he can play off the front, but uh, in my system, I'd have him playing on the right-hand side. You know, again, you know, talented, you know, probably in attacking wise, in a talented wise, and certainly entertainment wise, probably the best player Rangers have had for a long, long, si a long, long time, and certainly was a player that, you know, we used to give him the ball when we needed a rest, and he'd he'd, he'd look after it for us. So uh, a great talent, Brian. On the opposite side of the park, um, a good friend of mine, who I played with both at Everton and at Sheffield United in my later years when we managed to get promotion to the Premiership, was Peter Beagre. Um, Peter on his day, he can go both ways, left, right, you know, a great shot in both feet, ter terrific crosser of the ball, and again an entertainer. Um, you know, great qualities um, aerially. You know, if, if we struggled to kick balls, he, he was terrific in the air, um, and an all-round, you know, good player, good lad, and he would complement um, playing on the left with Brian on the right. Peter can also do the, the sort of the hard graft and, and get back, whereas Brian might be a bit more luxury and we'll give him a freedom. Certainly, uh, Brian, uh, Peter on the other side can get back in and get his foot in. He's not frightened of a tackle, unlike most wingers. Uh, middle of the park, again, you know, I, I think you know when you look at the entertainment value. Which, when I'm picking a side, I want to entertain the public that are going to come along. Uh, you know, it's going to be a sellout every week. We're selling season tickets, and that we want to entertain. So, obviously, the, the clown on and off the park, if you want, is, is Gaza. I had three great years with him at Rangers. Unfortunately, changed next to him every day, which wasn't great. Um, but that's for a, that's for another story. But um, you know, as much as he had the great individual talent, you know, he always wanted to be part of the team. You know, I used to say to him, you know, you, you stay further forward. I'll do all the running around, and I'll give it to somebody who can play a bit. So I used to give it to Gaza, and Gaza then used to go weave his magic. So um, you know, Paul Gascoigne would be in there undoubtedly, and then. 
you know, the other member of midfield, I, I could have picked a few players. Um, there's no doubt about that. You know, Ian Ferguson, the like at the Rangers for us. And, you know, I've not gone into the international, you know, set of where I, you know, I could have picked Gary McAllister or John Collins. I've just picked club players. And for that reason, I'm going to pick George Alberts. Again, George, probably more better playing in a three. Um, but it, again, strong, powerful. You know, everyone knows about the power in his left foot. And it's a team that have got full of goals, you know, all the way through the side. And George, set pieces, um, you know, his drive and determination. And I think as much as anything, he's a really good lad. And, uh, you know, I think he, he deserves to be in there. Uh, now we're up front. The two have picked uh, come as a partnership. You know, I always used to think of, in my day, you know, Toshak and Keegan, later on at Blackburn, Shearer and Sutton. And obviously for Rangers, it was... Uh, Haitley and um, Durant, no sorry Durant, you've not made it, I have to put McCoyst in, no doubt. But um, I thought uh, two, two of the seasons, you know, McCoyst and Haitley, my first two seasons were, were formidable. You know, Big Mark led the line terrifically well, strong, powerful, great in the air. McCoyst was there just to, to you know, get in the tappings and, and, and work off Big Mark and they were a great partnership and both had a, a real strong desire in them to win and were winners and went on and scored lots of goals together but in a partnership they were, they were excellent they both as I say complemented each other well and uh, you know that'll be my, my, my strike force and again if you look through it all all capable um, probably apart from Bomber at left back of 20 goals um, certainly in the midfield areas wide areas and up front 20 goals each so we'll, uh, we'll be entertaining uh, we'll more, win most games probably 5-4, but uh, that's what it's all about and uh, that'll be my dream team.